Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. So I'm going to be doing your general reading between September 23 to 30th. Let's see the messages for you. This is what uh, uh, is going to be a general message. So take what resonates. For more personals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. I also go by previous spells for high skill. We have Energized Pure Intention Charge High Vibrational Crystals of Best Quality Grade and Grade. Check them all on my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. We also have guaranteed pure quality gems available. If you want that, reach out to me. And do like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Sign, Sagittarius, are dealing with one. Let's see the messages. Uh -oh. Okay. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Moon. The Page of Swords, the King of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you dealing with a Cancer. I feel like you don't trust this person, but the truth is they want to marry you. They're in love with you. There are some fights between you guys. You have some trust issues because this person keeps changing their thoughts or their behavior. You've been checking on this person's behavior. I feel like there's something you feel like is not right. It's, it's just fishy. But this is someone that is following you everywhere because they have a plan. They want to marry you. They're in love with you. You want to slow down. You're not sure whether you want to be with this person or you're ready to meet someone new in your life. You're not sure whether is this the one or the new one, the one. Uh, so you want to take time so that you can meet new people, date new people, see whether there's someone that you can totally, totally trust. Okay. So the 10 to ones is like, yes, there's possibly someone new could come into your life. You might be talking to. I'm not seeing you interested in this person that much. You feel like there's something fishy. Some Maybe in the past, what happened is for the moment you did fell in love with this person. You did uh, invest emotionally with this person, but they then started ignoring you or, you know, getting confused whether they want to be with you or not so this time you're not going to put yourself in that situation so you're focusing on your self-love and you're focusing on someone new to come into your life you're keeping this person on a standstill i feel right now yes see i told you maybe a gemini is coming in from afar i feel the one that is in love with you is someone around but the one that is coming towards you is someone from the far you want to get to know this new person, okay? So you're not sure, but you're keeping the two options open. You're keeping yourself open to these two options. So the other person could be a Gemini. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. Okay. You have definitely two people coming in that want to be with you. They definitely want to be with you. Okay. I feel there's one person that is thinking about you day and night, day and night, day and night. This person is obsessing over you. They just cannot stop loving you. You know, this person is someone that is not kind to others, but they're kind to you. Are you getting my point? Because they want you. They want to impress you. So this is someone that is... Um, how do I put it? Like based on the situation, they change themselves. Okay. This is someone that like you can call them a chameleon, you know, type of a person. I feel this is someone that's obsessing over you. They want to have you. Like they want to possess you. They're obsessing over you. And it's like they want to control you. Okay. So they might even do spells. If they have a, an opportunity, they will do that as well. Positive ones, not the bad ones. To just keep you around to keep you in love with this person okay so i'm feeling like they have a target and that target is you that they have to have you by hook or by crook why do they want you they're attracted to you they feel they can never get anyone as good looking as you they feel like you understand them. They do have aggression and you're able to put up with their aggression. You're calm. You're at peace. Okay. And you are someone that do not like to question that much. You're able to face 
the challenges that this person can throw at you. So this is someone that is um, thinking on their own advantage. Okay, they're not thinking what makes you happy. They're thinking about what suits them. Okay, based on their suitability. So another person that's coming towards you could be from your career, from your work. Okay, either you're traveling regarding your work or this person is coming towards you. Maybe there's a meeting going on and you guys meet. I feel they might be hesitant or shy because they think that, oh, we are like, they don't know you. They don't know your city that much. And then over that, this is a work related connection. So is it a good thing to reach out to the Sagittarius talking to them? Because obviously it's different when you are proposing someone in a work dynamic. So they're cautious of that. This is someone that wants to help you, that wants to partnership with you, want, want to work with you, okay, in a team, as a team. Five of Pentacles. I feel this person wants to talk to you. They're finding a way how they can come towards you, closer to you and talk to you. This person is very excited. They also see you as someone that is like male or female, it doesn't matter. They see you as someone that is more about themselves, like you're focused and you're... You're, you you appear as if you don't have time for love. You're a little strict and intimidating to this person. Fierce personality. So they're scared of you a little bit. So yeah. There's someone that is not able to hold the emotions inside. I feel they're feeling stressed out. They really want to reveal that they have been watching you from a long time. And they have been keeping an eye over you. And now they just cannot stop you know thinking about you they want to come towards you i feel they're just you know planning and planning strategizing too much that they've gone crazy and i'm also sensing they're taking unnecessary stress around that yes this person is contemplating too much should i should i not reach out to them you know they're shy i feel you're dealing with someone that's very shy and confused they don't know is this a good idea or not maybe one person is in asian another person is an american i'm seeing that's also possible here Ten of Cups and the Star. They definitely dream of a family. They want a family. And they see you as one of those options that they can think of having a family, like a kid with, and, you know, have a whole new beginning. Like, they fantasize you with them. They fantasize having kids with you. Okay. The Star. Yes, they want a new beginning over here. Ace of Swords. They've been thinking about you a lot. I feel like they're trying to build the, that courage because they're focused. They're not someone that has a wavering mind. Once they have a focus on you, they will reach out. But the problem over here is they're too scared and intimidated. They don't know how you're going to be taking this. They haven't known your personality yet fully. Once they talk to you, they meet you more times, even more times. When there's more communication, they'll find out you're a warmest person. That's what they will find out. I'm also seeing they're trying to get answers through astrology, through tarot, through other occult, or they're just try trying to find out whether you like them or not through, I don't know, somehow they're like finding uh, what is going on in your heart or whether this is a right move or not. I feel definitely this person knows about tarot. They might be getting tarot readings over you. This could be a Pisces. Yeah, they're hiding their emotions. It's like they have a lot going on inside of them, but they're hiding it. Seven of Swords. Yes, this person is freaking out. Um, they're also scared of losing you because you guys have a physical distance, right? And it's not like they meet you every day. They see you every day. So they have this fear that maybe someone else takes you away. Maybe there's someone else that comes into your life. So they're, they don't want to waste their time. So you might hear from this person in eight days from now. You on the flip side, Sagittarius, are simply enjoying your own energy. You're in your own zone. You don't care about who is there, who loves you, who doesn't love you. Your focus is towards your personal peace and happiness. You might be studying over a higher, like over a project, I feel, or you, you guys are taking up a higher study. So you're pretty busy doing you, which is cool. So I'm also seeing um, some of you, maybe if it's a female watching this, could be pregnant as well but you do feel at times why is my love life so stuck you have these questions going on in your head but you need to take your head out of your you know uh, workspace you're all the time you're working working and working so you need to take your head out and just go out and you know have some fun meet new people maybe organize events and bring call people more you know uh go to other people meet new people yeah whatever you know it so you need to mix up more like there should be a social circle or something because it's going to keep your energies what high 
and at the same time receive a lot of options okay offers i would say so maybe this is a pisces interested but what i'm seeing is your life will change once you take that step forward like you need to take some time out meeting people that's something that is you uh, that you're missing out on you have a lot of options coming in the near future towards you you don't even see it but you're too busy and you have trust issues and you can't trust people and you're also focused on your money okay maybe you have to work so hard because you have to pay the taxes there's a lot going on i feel like and you have dreams and ambitions that you want to follow and then there's a strict boss maybe so there's a lot that you're like staying busy with it's not like you're you're having ample time but you have to take time out it is important in india people uh usually are found with others like you won't see most of the people you know alone you know everybody is like in a circle like someone is with their family members someone is with their relative someone is with their friend so this is also important like socialization keeps you happy okay so yeah i feel like that's something that is coming out very right? strongly for you sagittarius you're disappointed with the options and love coming in or th there is this person okay there's someone that they could be authority figure that's thinking about you a lot this could be an aries they have a fear that you may reject them okay this is why they're coming too slowly towards you yes this this person is fearful of rejection because they are having a you know maybe this is someone from your workplace and then if you reject them everybody's gonna laugh at them they are at a higher position they could be your boss or they have a high reputation or position so a lot is going on like this is making them crazy but they are attracted towards you because they're thinking about marriage here they're thinking about the future here and they trust that you will keep their uh reputation intact the timing wasn't right i'm so attracted i think this person is thinking too much is too much like i feel like they think that oh this is not the right time to reach out maybe next time and then oh that time was better i should have reached out earlier so there's so much that's going on with this person i feel you need to calm them down you need to somehow give them some hints and talk to this person because they're finding it too difficult to reach out finding out the truth crushed me someone is married here someone is married or going through a divorce this person didn't know that feel it's not a big deal though so i'm not talking much about it yeah they don't care this person really wants to be with you i'm seeing an age difference here okay the female could be older okay or gone through a divorce that might hurt you because you may come to know about this later on if you're man watching this and then let's see the messages through oracle pay attention to the red flags this person is hiding something from you the one that is obsessing over you not the one that wants to be with you okay the one that is um stressing over marriage with you but you're finding something shady or fishy about this person yes they could be married they could be older than you okay maybe they can't conceive or you can't uh, no not you but i feel like there's something about this person okay that you need to know or if you don't want to be with this person it's a good time that you separate new love is coming in don't stop yourself be open to receive you will get engaged real soon yeah stay optimistic step positive it's happening okay and i see the okay these are some extra cards that came out suggestion please garnet oh very good if you can have it with a rose quartz amazing okay it's very good to detoxify yourself from the past okay physically energetically there needs to be positive shift in your life okay so if you want it from me you can get it we offer 100% pure energized crystals best quality there you go 
So no matter what happens, the one that you're going to end up with is someone very loving. Yes. This is a great love story you guys will have. This person is going to be loving you despite, in spite of all. So it's going to be a lot of love between the two of you. Yes, they're very protective. They could be spiritual as well. And I'm seeing you are attracting someone that's like a warrior, male or female, irrespective of that. They're taking action. I feel like you need to take action. You need to give them a hint because this person is too fearful. And you need to take action of letting go of someone that you're sticking to. Okay? Yes, they're causing you challenge. Someone is causing you challenges. Have courage to detach yourself from that person. Now... Let's see from Aries to Pisces. Now, before that, oh, we have to do an all sign. No, we have to see which sign is coming. Sagittarius, let's see the signs coming in. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think my energy is too high right now. Virgo, Aries, Libra, Aries, Virgo, Libra, Aries. One more, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and new signs. Okay. So these are the signs coming in. Now I will be seeing an all sign message for you from Aries to Pisces. What did your person think of you? Aries to World Sagittarius. Strong energy of passion coming towards you. They're conveying their thoughts and feelings towards you fast. Taurus does, doesn't want to think left, right at anything. They just want to be in love with you in the present moment. Gemini. Gemini is in love. Oh my gosh. They're thinking too ahead, far ahead of the current energy. This person is thinking about marriage with you. Already fantasizing it. Cancer. They're freaking out. They think that it's better to hide feelings than speak about it. Oh, Cancer is so soft-hearted. Leo. Leo is wanting to... Take slow steps towards you because this person is working hard on their goals and they do not want to lose focus. And they're observing you. You're not talking to this person yet. Virgo. Virgo wants marriage for sure. They see you as a soulmate. They're talking about you to their family or they're going to introduce you. Libra. Ending this. It's over. Oh, this is a completely new Libra that's coming into your life. You haven't met. Scorpio. Finding it too difficult to make you understand what they want, but they're still sticking to you. Capricorn. Capricorn is uh, negatively attracted to you. I feel like this person is also keeping some other options behind your back. So try to figure out more about this person. Aquarius. Aquarius is like, I feel like this person has a lot to convey. They're feeling damn attracted towards you. Pisces. Pisces is definitely seeing you as a match made in heaven. They want to be with you for the lifetime. They want to marry you. Let's see the charms. There you go. Okay. Soon travel. Your person is definitely spiritual or you're becoming more and more spiritual with time. Some of you are spiritual activists. Some of you have your YouTube channel. Okay. I'm seeing this, you are going to take a flight or someone is coming towards you, taking a flight. And I'm seeing feathers. You just want to fly high in your life. Some of you are definitely traveling, maybe to USA or somewhere else. But yes, you're traveling. Someone from Austria, Australia, New Zealand, America, Aslanza, Asliza, something like that. Okay, that's the name that I'm getting. Zia. Zenith, Sansa, something like that. So these are some names. Anessa, Ansia, something. I don't know. Very weird kind of names I'm getting. But beautiful. Okay. So it's like you have a dream that you want to do something in life. And it involves uh, traveling. I feel you. it will come true. And universe is giving you wings to fly high. Think big and you're going to build a solid foundation in your life. Some of you in Aquarius is interested in you. Ashley could be the name. Zenith. Zenith. Anything like guys. Whatever. Something with Zaya. Okay. 
So spiritual travel, yes, you're going to travel. You're going to travel real soon. Spirituality, focusing too much on these readings and following these readings and spiritual methods of living will take you towards your ultimate dream, your childhood dream. It has to do something to do with traveling, I'm seeing. And uh, yeah, you're becoming more at peace these days, more spiritual, divinely guided awakened so you may be watching too many tarot readings and this is making you more uh happy with yourself and with your life these days someone's from switzerland singapore sweden czech republic yugoslavia zimbabwe saya could be the name so these are some messages that i'm getting sagittarius it was a wonderful read if you liked it do not forget to like share subscribe and comment come back for more i'll see you back again with more stuff please take care of yourself bye